AVP Wargamer back with another video. Today we're going to talk about action figures and we're going to talk about our print of the day, the Papsicles Serpent Hunter. Welcome back, everybody. As you can see, I love action figures. I collect action figures. In fact, I had to stop collecting collecting action figures because they just kept releasing too many of them, and I just can't keep up. I got too many hobbies. I started three D printing. I got too much going on. But I did want to show off some uh, figures that I just painted. I've got with me here McFarlane Gene Stealer from Warhammer Forty K. Uh, this is what, an articulated action figure, and what I did is I took the painted version, which I thought was poorly painted, as you can see right there. I thought that was pretty poorly painted. I wanted the classic uh, blue and purple Gene Stealer. So the way I painted this guy up was I didn't primer it at all. I just took straight up acrylic paints. I used a little bit of Apple Barrel Cheapo paint and then some of my other paints, uh, my professional uh, miniature paints and even get some Games Workshop washes in there and uh, made my Gene Stealer look like a classic Gene Stealer. Now, uh, one technique that I really like doing with a lot of my Tyranids is I like taking, um, I like taking black and then dry brushing it with this metallic blue and then doing a, uh, a Drakenhof nightshade uh, wash. And so what I did, it's basically a dark blue wash is what I put over it. And the purple, uh, the one thing that I learned is when you're doing uh, purple, um, as you can see in the highlights there, what I did was I, I painted it with the Gene Stealer purple and then I did a darker wash and then I highlighted it with some flesh tone pink and that little flesh tone pink helps it pop and just kind of highlight so that's the uh, the regular gene stealer now I did get one of the unpainted gene stealers which was more of the, the Yargmal or Yarg however you pronounce it uh, gene stealer the one with the uh, kind of lictor tentacles and this one I painted in this the color scheme of my Terranid army which is again the black and blue with some green and red and this guy, I'm going to do a little bit more work on him, but that's a work in progress. Um, I think he looks pretty cool. Uh, looks looks just like a, a lictor. <laughs> and uh, it's pretty cool. And and so this is the scale. This is the, the NECA uh, Serpent Hunter uh, Predator. So they're about the same height. So it's a, a good scale if you collect NECA figures. Um, I really like the, the Games Workshop figures. I might have to pick up a Space Marine just to go along with them. Uh, but they, they do look really cool. And they're cheaper than the Games Workshop models. This is your standard action figure price, probably about 25 30 bucks. When, if you were to buy a model this size, you're looking at about $70 to buy, like, a, a Demacron. Um, <laughs> like, this would be, like, $70, $80 from, from Forge World. And, you know, if you don't want to buy this model, just buy an action figure and have it stand in, I guess. Uh, yeah, that, that's an idea. But anyways, let's talk about the Serpent Hunter. This is the Serpent Predator Hunter from NECA. Now, this guy was originally in one of the AVP uh, computer games. Um, and and the AVP, um, uh, it was Aliens vs. Predator. It's a first-person computer game that was released. Um, actually, it was released for uh, PlayStation and Xbox. Um, but it got its popularity originally from the uh, computer game. But, but this was a special skin you could get for your guy, and this is like the ultimate alien hunter uh, in that game. It was just a skin you could get. I really like his double wrist blade gauntlets here, and just a very iconic looking character. Now, if you're looking for something like this for miniature wargaming, uh, you don't have to look very far. Uh, you just got to get Papsicles uh, miniatures a try. Uh, this is his uh, serpent skull hunter. Uh, that he sells from his from his company. Um, I got this guy in one of his weekly or his monthly Patreons. It, this guy releases probably about you know fifteen to twenty models a month uh, in his Patreon, and uh, I'm 
Predators was one of his themes for a couple months there. And this is one of the miniatures there. And I'm going to put a link below if you want to get this guy specifically. But check out all of, it, of what he does online. Uh, he's got some really cool models. But yeah, that's the, uh, the Serpent Hunter that I use for my AVP uh, miniature game. And if you don't know about the miniature game, check out our Facebook group, AVP Wargamer. I have a ton of people on there that are just in love with the Aliens vs. Predator franchise, and they do lots of amazing uh, sculpts and, and 3D prints and customs and all that kind of fun stuff on that Facebook group. And uh, we also have a game that we play on there as well. In fact, it is called... AVP Unleashed. And you can get these the rules for this game for free. This is an out-of-print book, but it's got all the rules for Aliens vs. Predator as a tabletop miniature war game. And again, you can download the rules for free off of the AVP Wargamer Facebook group. And I'm sure there's some other websites out there that still have it. But yeah, check it out uh, if you want to get the rules for Aliens vs. Predator. And, you know, the, the models aren't being sold anymore, except on eBay. You can always find stuff on eBay. Or, like I said, you can just print your own army now and use whatever miniatures you want. It's a lot of fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I'll see you next time, because it's next time, it's Wargaming.